Hi, what's up Dreamer Tribe, what's up world? I am Bianca and welcome to a brand new recording session of Sakuna of Rice and Ruin for the PC basically. I'm playing the Steam version for those of you who are just watching, you know, for the first time this particular let's play um, for whatever reason that you're picking like the fifth episode of this let's play but yeah welcome one and all to the fifth episode of Sakuna of Rice and Ruin VN Plays. Um, I would like to say that I had to <laughs> actually um, play a new game right L like from the very beginning because I wanted to fix how we planted our uh, rice and I wanted to try to make it so that it would be perfect, you know, because previously the game told us that we planted it or planted the rice a little too far apart from one another. Um, so I decided to, you know, replay the game and try to get the perfect distance when it comes to planting the rice. Unfortunately, even with this black even with this brand new um, save file, I still managed to mess that up. So what we still have is like pr planted far apart. So there's that. Um, I also went ahead and finished um, one of Mirthay's or Mirthay's second actually second side quest, which you know she asked Sakuna to get her three rabbit meats we've already done that so now we have unlocked the processing uh foods option for Murthy whenever we talk to her and now we're at i think it's summer two so apart from that there's really nothing else that's changed you know i haven't visited the brand new area that we've unlocked uh but i have gotten used to controls to the controls basically I have gotten used to that so I think this time around we won't be having that much difficulty in dealing with the enemies. I still retained the uh, difficulty settings from uh, from our previous uh, you know save file so you know that's just what you basically get, you guys basically missed from me not recording the brand new save file playthrough is that I finished Murthy's second side quest. But anyway, let's get back to the game. Let me just switch to our gaming scene right here. Uh, so yeah, let's continue on with the game. I'm this time I'm making use of a, of the Xbox One controller, <laughs> and I think that it's actually much easier playing the game using this controller because you know the buttons are as they should be. I don't have to keep remembering that X is the left button and Y is the button at the top. So there's that. But yeah, let's go rest until morning. Uh, we have a lot of food that has spoiled, but we have learned a new fighting skill. Fierce Furrow. I don't know what that is. Great glorious grains. Yay, power courses through my veins. You appear to have learned a fighting skill. I see. So growing rice confirms new skills upon me. It is likely that the growing method you chose determines the skill that you learn. Such is the way of ordinary harvest gods. How dare you speak the word ordinary in my- I knew it. How dare you speak the word ordinary in my divine presence. I am far from ordinary. Do take care, my princess. You cannot use a fighting skill if you do not equip it first. Of course, we already know how to equip a skill. Oh, so you choose to ignore your master. How very brazen. But yeah, let's do that first. Let's equip our brand new skill. I'm just checking if... No, I'm... Yeah. Still need a little bit more of those meat to unlock the power. But yeah, I wonder where? Fierce Furrow. Um, let's put that there. Also, this one. So yeah, nothing else. But yeah, proficiency for Frontal Smash is already at level 2. And as for our quest, it is still... No, it is still as is. So we have only managed to finish two sub-quests. 
we haven't done any exploration ob objectives yet and we have these three for our um, main quests but yeah let's go and talk to this guy Tao Emon enough water to submerge your ankles okay so we're all out of water so let's add water first because of course plants need water okay still waiting uh, I, one thing I'm not sure of is if hmm doesn't look like our ankles is submerged so let's open this see I'm not really sure if well, now it's totally submerged. But yeah, I guess closing... I mean, opening this again and again, that's what elevates the water levels. You don't actually have to wait for the water to fill because it doesn't seem to actually fill up. See, I'm pulling the weeds because... You know, that's something we need to do to make sure that... Our rice grows as desired and then we spread the per fertilizer because why not and then we go get ourselves scoop some more poop to make new fertilizers with okay base components i think i'll do that why not <laughs> I still am not sure about, you know, about this whole fertilizer thing. I'm not, I don't know much about the, what do you call this? How to actually mix the fertilizers. I'm still doing it based on trial and error. So yeah, I think that's good enough. Turn. Then let's go inside because we, no, before we actually go inside, let's, First, go around the vicinity of the house, checking up, uh, you know, if we can pick up some um, collectibles. I think those are what the snails are. I'm not sure my, uh, I'm not sure of that myself just yet. But yeah, there is a new patch that came out for this game, and one thing I noticed after installing that patch is that those collectibles, those um. What do you call this? Those spiders, those uh, stuff that we can pick up from, you know, with the yellow exclamation mark, they don't appear as frequently as they did before. Also, for those who are planning on playing this game for the first time, uh, I sort of missed an item here in this uh, tool shed uh, when we first played through and I got that item when I decided to make a new save file and that item I found it lying over here it's gone now as you can see it's gone <laughs> but the item is this one bamboo broom and uh, we still haven't actually unlocked uh, the power for this one because we need to destroy demon pig I don't know what the demon pig is and I don't know why we have already defeated four of those, but yeah, um, Bamboo Broom, it has cool, clean sweep though, so inflict 1.5 more damage when the enemy is sent flying, but I haven't really tested this, you know, how strong it is against the enemies. Um, attribute, that's the word I was thinking about, yeah, Scrap Iron Ho has a slash attribute to it, what the heck forgot that term uh, but yeah I haven't tested this out I don't think I would like to test it out but I'm just letting you guys know that you can pick this item up a uh, bamboo broom here in the tool shed okay let's go inside oh there you are frog let's go inside wait suddenly items are appearing now these weren't around before so either they kind of change it up in the um, patch didn't really look at the patch notes either that or those collectibles actually only appear at a certain time of day 
I don't know, but we haven't found any, um, what do you call this? Any spiders for a while now. Okay, another thing that... Huh, the water has gone down. Why is the water... That was fast. And yeah, so weeds, they continue to grow. Like every time you leave and then come back, weeds would have taken root. So you have to constantly uh, check for weeds whenever you come back uh, to this place, to your farm. So I'm just going to check. There we go. If there are any more... <laughs> I have no idea what happened here. Uh, but yeah, I don't think there's any more weeds also. It's hard to gauge how high the water is. I think we need to add like a little bit more. I think that should be enough, maybe? It's not past the ankles yet. What? That should be enough. That's... I think that's good enough. Uh, but anyway, let's go. We're going to go and tackle... Ah! We're going to go and tackle our newly... Um, newly unlocked area. That I forgot the name of even though I have just un actually unlocked it prior to starting this recording. Also, I forgot that we can just actually pr go to the menu and press Y. <laughs> so yeah, let's head to... Since we, st I'm still, I can't um, beat nighttime enemies yet, so we're passing. You know, we're making a pass on Cylindr on Cylindr Cavern and Dragon's Tunnel. We're heading to Skipping Stone Hill. Clear the innermost area. Defeat the skip. Uh, defeat with Skipping Stone. What is that? Discover a mining area and get treasure. Spirit Bow. Oh boy, I have no idea how to do that. <laughs> I have no idea how to do any of those things. Oh, what is this? That wall seems unstable. If I send those rocks flying, it may crumble. In the menu under fighting skills, equip frontal smash and use it on the rocks. Uh, this one? Okay. That's frontal... I think that's frontal smash. Why is it? Why is nothing happening? <laughs> or is that front? I think that is. Yeah, frontal smash is B. Okay, got it. I was pressing the wrong button. Of course I was. Okay, I think I need this rock, even though they're. <laughs> okay, that's pretty fun. I like that. I like that. One more. Okay. <laughs> We're just smashing. Oh, how dare you? There we go. Okay, just making sure we're not oh. missing any items. Okay. No, no. Yeah, I'm still getting used to actually using the sash thing. Divine Raiment 1 acquired. Okay. Let's check that. What is that? Acquired spoils. Push L and RB to extend your Divine Raiment. If it hits an enemy, you will dexterously swing behind them. So yeah. Uh, we already know that, but thank you for reminding us anyway. Right, Look again. Here I am. <laughs> I'm loving that. I think that's Skipping Stone, right? No, no. Okay. Let's do the Skipping Stone again. Ooh. But yeah, I... 
Why haven't I... I haven't defeated enough yet? What? You'd think I have defeated enough enemies for that star. Your stomach is growling. Until you've seen your hunger, you won't recover health. And any food effects would dissipate. In order to fill your belly, you need to return home and rest. Okay. But if I go home and rest now, I would have to redo this stage and... Quite frankly, I would rather finish this first. I think um, we can manage. At least I hope we can. Hey, I need you to... Okay. You know what, let's just... Let's just finish these enemies the normal way. Beast Manure. We just obtained Beast Manure. I think that's the first time I've obtained that item. Okay. So yeah, it seems that... Oh, frick. It seems that uh, the areas are expanding now. We are now being given a lot more... Uh, like options on which paths to take. Oh my god. Maybe I should change this to Frontal Smash as well, and then this one to Fierce Furrow so that I won't get confused when I'm pressing uh, the B button. Oh, crap. Wait, can I just... I still need... I need... I actually need a, a, a boulder to get that. Oh, frick. Okay. Okay. Uh, maybe we can get more from somewhere? Okay. Oh, uh, we are... Oh, it's almost nighttime. Oh, no. This is bad. If nighttime hits, then we'll be dealing with tougher enemies, and I. We're not strong enough for that. No! Okay. No, 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 don't, don't, don't! Oh, frick. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Uh. Shall we just go back to this stage? You know? To wait, I, just, I can't. Can't be serious. Hmm, maybe if I. No. Okay, you know what? <laughs> go back. Oh, frick. We'll go back for the collectibles because it's sunset. We're running out of time. That's bad. Because again, enemies are much stronger during the night, and we aren't equipped to uh, deal with stronger enemies. Oh. But I think this is. Oh, shit. I think this is already the. Oh, frick, my health. Oh, no. No, no. I don't think. Can we, can we skip? Yeah, we can go back to- Oh, we have to redo that again. <laughs> that was pretty bad. That was a pretty bad attempt. I wasted so much time trying to get the collectibles. But yeah, let's... And we were running out of health as well, so we really had no choice but to go back. Now we have to pull all the weeds again. Because they grow so fast. The weeds grow so fast. I can't even see how much water is left. Because it's so dark. Well, it's not so dark. It's just, you know, very difficult to see. Okay. Ankles. I think that's enough. Okay, okay, okay. Close the gate. 
Okay, let's go back inside. Let's go eat. Uh, process ingredients. Oh, let's first look at storage. Uh, looking at storage is very important because here you can actually see how long before your uh, food uh, goes, you know, expires basically. And as you guys can see, acorn, we only have one day, mushroom, one day, pork, two days. Root crops two days and rabbit meat two days. So we can change. Well, roasted acorn can actually, I think, I process. Something? Uh, my dog is acting up. Uh, we don't really have anything to process. But yeah, basically, the idea is you have to process whatever. Uh, meat or food ingredient you have that might spoil you know the next day that way nothing gets spoiled and you know you don't really lose anything you actually gain more uh, from uh, processing ingredients though I haven't really made use of you know the process ingredients just yet uh, Acorn broth because we're running out of acorns. Okay, I think that's good. Let's have dinner. Oh, by the way, uh, the second dinner that we have that there was a discussion between the group. My and my dog is very noisy. Really sorry about that. But yeah, the the uh, discussion. The group discussion that we had, the second one, they were talking about the lower realm. Basically, the the realm where the humans live, and apparently it's pretty bad in this game. Like, there's, there's famine, and people are basically killing each other, stealing from each other, because they don't have enough food. There's wars. Basically, it's really, really dark. It's a really dark place, which is why... Uh, Taoemon, for instance, uh, deserted and decided to just be a bandit. Uh, Murthy apparently was about to be sold to slavery because she's supposedly a rare commodity being a foreigner. As for the story of the uh, Yui and, uh, and Kenta, was it? I don't... They haven't really t told us the story behind those two yet or the backstory uh, between those two, but yeah. And... So we now have a plus two strength and plus four fullness, natural healing, and I didn't get to read what the other one was. But yeah, let's rest until morning so we can go back to Skipping Stone Hill. That's the name of the place. Okay, we still need to clear the innermost area, of course. Defeat with, so we still need three more enemies to defeat uh, using that Skipping Stone tactic and spirit bow that's i think that's the item behind the large boulder that we were having difficulty breaking um but yeah maybe this time uh we can actually make it work crossing fingers there we go i think that's three <laughs> I'm really, I, I really like the battles, you know, the, the combat system for this game. It's, it's so much fun, and I think it's part of the game's charm. I really don't know if there are un uh, other games that have a similar mechanic as this game, or if this is the first of its kind. If this isn't the first game to employ, you know, this kind of... Uh, what do you call this gameplay? I would really want to know what the first game was, and if this is the first game that actually managed to, you know, think of something. Um, what do you call this? Something unique that goes well with the game, the game story, the game's background. You know, really, 
kudos for thinking up how to incorporate rice uh, and farming in a way that is different from how uh, Rune Factory and Stardew Valley did it. Really, kudos. <laughs> like, it's also very hard for me to speak as I'm playing this because my, you know, the, the flow of my thoughts, it, it, it gets, dis I get distracted because I'm thinking, okay, that... Oh, I can use... Okay. Okay, I can use the Y button. I'm actually using... Pressing the Y button to... Okay, maybe this time? Yes! We did it, guys! So yeah, just use the Y button for that. Okay, we got the Spirit Bow. So basically what I did was use the Y button, which is a strong attack, to get the boulders or the stones to that direction. I only have to get that one, which I'm having a hard time with. And I have to be mindful of the time we have left. Oh, freaking... Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, like, I feel like the, it's more like muscle memory for me. Oh, shoot. shoot, shoot, shoot. See, I always extend the Divine Raiment too early and always at that exact spot oh god thank you so much uh, powder of transformation acquired what is that ah how rare this powder alters the flow of time allowing fertilizer to be completed immediately huh I still have to like learn how to make the perfect fertilizer Otherwise, I feel like we're just you. We're just wasting. Um, we're just wasting the item. Oh come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Okay, fine. That was a lucky evade. <laughs> okay, that was pretty awesome. There's an enemy here. I feel bad for letting you leave, uh, live by yourself, so I'm gonna kill you as well. <laughs> there we go, we finally finished this area. The morning part of it, at, at least. Um, achieve clear innermost area. Okay, anything else? I don't think there, there's anything else. So yeah, let's go back to the world map and check. Den of Fangs. We've unlocked a brand new area. Okay, so... We're still missing... Oh. <laughs> I thought it was a long list of items. But yeah, we're, we're still missing two. Yeah, two more items from Skipping Stone Hill. I'm assuming that it's... You can get those items during nighttime. But yeah, let's go back home. We'll go to the Den of Fangs, or whatever, tomorrow! Do you have anything new to say, Yui? Hiya, goddess! That's all you have to say. That's all you really say in you! Ah! Kaimaru, you always say ah. <laughs> Just named him ah because... Ah. Uh, why is the water like this? Do I have to, like... Release the water. Okay, close the gate. Why does... the water look like that? It looks so... Oh, I guess it's because the water is actually gone. I thought it was... So, I thought I was looking at so many moss or mold... on the ground. Okay. Okay, okay, enough water. Enough. <laughs> That's well above the ankles. Okay. 
No more weeds, that's good. Let's take a look around the vicinity, see if there are any collectibles to be get to be obtained to be get what kind of grammar is that? So there's nothing. Okay, let's go inside. Gotta have some materials for a forge. I'm begging ya. Yeah, what else do we need for the forge? Uh, we only need one more stone. Okay, so we're gonna finish that. I think we're gonna finish uh, grow the rice and the blacksmith build the forge thing tomorrow. So let's go and look at storage. Look at the storage. Uh, dried sparrow meat that, that has been dried in the center bench from dry muslims last longer when robed. Uh, robbed been robbed of the water within them so I have to eat something do I have let's go with roast rabbit meat and dried rabbit no I guess we can just go with this no I think we can do roast rabbit meat here and then oh we can't process can we still do the oh okay fine try rabbit meat it is uh, okay let's have dinner we really need to find more food <laughs> Or find more ingredients. Hmm. Sup, Pops? You ain't gonna eat anything? Hmm. I noticed no one has even the slightest misgivings over eating meat. What's that supposed to mean? Are you turning your nose up at the meat I hunted? No, no, that is not what I meant. We Yanato people of the lowly realm, we're forbidden from eating meat. So you're all like vegetarians? You're all like vegans? That's pretty cool. But why? Why are you forbidden from eating meat? Now it got me curious. You are prohibited from consuming something so delicious. Who would do such a thing? The temple, or rather the teachings of enlightenment. It is called the precept of nonviolence and is one of the Buddhist teachings. I don't think that is working. I don't think that teaching is working. If consider what I was telling you guys about, about the... Uh, second group meal discussion that they had which is basically talking about the lowly realm and how dangerous it was how mu how much people were stealing just so they could survive just so they could eat and if the reason for that is because they're only eating things that are basically not meat <laughs> then uh, you know i guess we have now found a solution on how to keep people from starving in the lowly realm. Low yeah, I think that's what that's what it's called, right? The mortal realm. The Buddha again, if you have enough time to remember such tedious doctrine, then why not give us gods more offerings? I not understand what bad about eat meat. We not only eat human has uh, we not only eat, human has reasoning and responsibility. Eat only is different. That why God made animal lower than human. Oh, is that what your foremost, foremost teachings say? What about you, Kinta? You? Yui? So yeah, his name is Kinta. I, I thought it was Kenta. Were you taught anything by your parents? Sure was, in the village and the temple, but no one ever followed the rules. Wait, me like it was no... Oh, so it was... It, I, it was just a select group of people who were choosing not to eat meat because of Buddha's teachings, okay? Even the head monk ate it while making all kinds of excuses. <laughs> yeah, sure you ain't the only one who actually takes it seriously, Pops? What? I'm the only one? Yeah, humans are the only creatures who think to pass up perfectly good food. What? I never thought anyone took that junk seriously. It's such a pain in the butt. Ugh. <gasps> Enough of this back and forth. Are you going to eat or not? 
I don't care either way. It simply means we will not have to hunt enough meat for you as well as... Uh, for you as well from here on out. Okay, sorry about that. I hit my mic again. So... What is... What is... So we have to actually find herbs and, and other stuff for him to eat because he doesn't eat meat? Is that it? If you're not gonna eat it, give it to me. No, no, no. I will partake. Forgive me. I honor and gratefully accept this life which is given to me. He is such he is as troublesome as he is large, which is to say very. That's 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 really not something you should be saying, Sakuna. You know, that's something you should keep to yourself because other people might not appreciate it. All right, first off, thank you so much for joining me in today's video. If you like the content of today's video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up to let me know and share this video to your friends, your family, and everyone you think would enjoy it. And if you haven't, please click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and become part of the Dreamer tribe. And if you've already subscribed and you want to get notified whenever new videos come out, then just click on that bell icon and you'll get notifications whenever new videos are posted here on this channel and that's about it again hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and i'll see you all in the next video until then you guys know the drill dream on fly on bye bye now